Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the second part of my Black Friday haul. This is the really big one and I'm kicking it off with the biggest order I've ever placed, um, which is my very first order from Toffee Bananas. I like am obsessed with her shop now. Everything is perfect and in this order I, um, I received over 50 sheets and several more as freebies, so I'm so excited to show you what I got. So first, I got two adorable little die cuts with my order. One of them is a cat on a laptop with roses, and this other one is like um, a bunch of shelves and what looks like binders and drawers on them, and a bunch of cute stuff on top. So these are really cute, and I'm actually considering doing some kind of I don't know, TN or ring bound setup, just so I have a place to put all these lovely die cuts. Again, I think I said in my last video that I would be considering getting a new type of planner for that. So we will see, but either way, my collection of die cuts is really growing with all these Black Friday orders coming in. So let me first go over the freebies that I got. There were a lot more than I was expecting, but I did order <laughs> over 50 sheets. So um, this first sheet is a bunch of half boxes and quarter boxes, all in this beautiful kind of pink and gold color scheme. Really pretty. Um, this one is kind of a sampler. Actually, the next two are just like really generic samplers. You have a few Christmas place settings here packages. It looks like a Nintendo Switch with like roses on it, which I love. I'm going to use that to mark when I play on my friend Alex's Nintendo Switch because I don't have one yet. There's a cat on a laptop sticker just like the die cut. Oh, a beautiful little teapot. There's a coffee mug, a stamp, a stack of what looks like pancakes, um, a recipe book on a little stand, candles, toast, um, a pitcher. A little coffee and donuts. These are so cute. And then these are pillows, I think. So that's so fun. I, I love her doodles. I love the pink. It's so fun. And then here's another sampler. You got some Christmas windows. You got a fun little kitchen. I love this one. I don't know what I'm going to use it for necessarily. But I mean, it's like too pretty to use for like cleaning the kitchen. And it's kind of too big to use for cooking. But like maybe if I spend the whole day in the kitchen cooking, I'll use that. And then this is a little... Um, shelving unit just like the one in the die cut also. You got four different Christmassy candles down here, um, a mug of tea on a stack of books. Um, this looks like some kind of pastry and lo those little mini cast iron pans on a board. And this looks like waffles and tea on a board too. So very fun. And then this fourth, well actually the fourth and fifth um, samplers are both flat lay samplers, which is fun because I did order all the flat lays that I wanted in full sheets, but um, but this will give me an opportunity to explore ones that I didn't buy or that weren't available as full sheets at the time. So like, I don't know if the wrapping one was available, um, so it'll be nice to get that one. I don't know if this one was. The mince pies one I didn't get, but um, it's funny because when I was when I went to meet my boyfriend's parents for the first time in Indiana recently, she made us mince pies that looked just like that. So this would have been perfect to mark that, but uh, it's too late. So next time, I hope she makes them for us again. And then this one is two different laptop ones. I did get both of these. Um, another type of planner one. This one is books and a donut. I didn't get that one. I didn't get the soup and sandwich one, although it's really cute and I'm starting to think I should have. Um, this one's like magazines. There's like Vogue there. Um, a stack of planners and some tea and a book and tea and little bunny slip slippers. So that's so cute. I love her flat lays and that's actually what originally drew me to her shop. So I'm really happy to be able to try out more of those. All right, let's get into my actual order. So first I'm gonna start with these two samplers I got. One's the pastel doodle samplers. Um, I actually might just like stock up on these in the future if she still has them, because I don't know like how often I would need full sheets of all of these, but like if I'm looking for something that's kind of like obscure and um, like in this color scheme and I can't find it on another sheet, like I'm, I might be able to find it on this one. Um, like a little lunch bag, 
or like a little mixer. I don't have too many mixer stickers other than my own. Um, or like a little bed there. Just a lot of really cute stuff here, like a little backpack and everything has bows on it. A little stack of presents, alarm clock, a lot of envelopes with uh, flowers and hearts and bows. Um, a little cup with pens in it. I think that's like boba or some kind of tea, a little stack of clothing. That's just so fun. All the stuff on here is adorable and I love this sheet a lot. A little breakfast tray right there and the candle. A little nice shoes. So it's so cute. I love it a lot. A little tea bag over here. All right, I'm going to stop pointing things out because I would just point out the whole sheet. You can see what's on here. And then the next one I got was a Nana sampler in my um, skin tone color scheme. I like there's one couple sticker on here and it's like that's what my boyfriend looks like too. So it's so funny that that worked out. I don't even know if I like was allowed to specify that, but if it was, that's fun. So, um, yeah, I think most of these stickers are not ones I bought on their own. So it's really fun to like try them out in a sampler form. And there's a lot of stickers on this sheet. So yeah, I'm not going to point out all of them. You can kind of see what's going on here, but there's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to have to like really make an effort to, um, to like look through these whenever I'm planning because I'm going to like forget what's on there really fast. All right, now let's go into my actual orders of full sheets of things. I'm going to go through this kind of fast because I don't want it to take absolutely forever even though this is a big order because I have a lot more orders to go through. So this one is Christmas mail. You get Oh, well, first is the Christmas section. I've got these organized by section. So Christmas mail on top. You get packages, envelopes, uh, packages, and stamps all in a kind of like pink theme. I think all of her sheets are kind of like a, a pink theme, which is really fun. Then you get Christmas story time, which I think you can use these for like any time story time. But then these have like designs on the front that are like very Christmas related. So those will be for Christmas time and also the holly leaves, obviously. Um, but the rest are kind of any time, which I love. Then you have Christmas tea. Um, again, these could be just kind of any time, like even spring with all the florals, but these are more Christmas related. So it's fun to have those options. This is Christmas computer. Um, yeah, it's basically just, I'm going to use it for marking any time I'm working on my computer during the Christmas season. So we get plenty of those. You get 10. Uh, Christmas placements. Yeah, I'm guessing these are like place settings. That's just what she calls them. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much I would use these for other than marking like Christmas dinner. And I have a bunch of flat lays I would do for that too. But I don't know. I wanted, I really wanted to have this option because I thought they were so cute and so inspirational. Um, Christmas marquees. These are so fun. And I actually bought the clip art so I can make more of these because honestly, um, I feel like dividers are something that I don't have nearly enough of in terms of stickers, and I wanted to have the option to print more if I needed. Christmas baking. I'm obsessed with gingerbread, like, so much. So, of course, I had to pick up this sheet. I'll pick up pretty much any gingerbread sheet I see. All right, now we get into couple stickers. So this is snow couple, which is just a couple looking outside when it's snowing. Um, these are actually Christmas couple stickers specifically. So this one is just kind of a sampler, lying in bed, you know, eating Christmassy things, sharing a scarf, which is so cute. Um, this is more Christmas couples. So it's like giving gifts and hugging and cuddling and so fun. Uh, this is Christmas activities. Now we're getting into just generic Christmas nanas. Um, so it looks like you've got garland, um, stuffing stockings putting up wreaths, checking a list, making a drink, holding a garland, going caroling with the kitty, which is so cute. I don't actually go caroling, but anytime I like get super in the mood to sing Christmas carols and my cat's around, I can use that. And then eating cookies right here. And then some of them repeat. Um, this is Christmas presents. So it's kind of self-explanatory, holding a stack of presents and then being buried under them in that one. It's so fun. Um, uh, more Christmas mail, but this is like the Nana version. <laughs> so this is like so much mail over here. And then this is like writing letters. So that could be for like Christmas cards or even thank you notes. 
or even like writing a pen pal during the Christmas season. So those are very versatile. Um, I might be interested in like a full sheet of those actually. Uh, Christmas cooking. So you've got the gingerbread house. I bought a um, digital version of that too because you know me and gingerbread. I love it. Um, this one is cooking Christmas dinner. This one is bread, gingerbread cookies, and just holding a rolling pen. Um, this one is Christmas tree. I also bought a digital version of this. Um, so this is just generic decorating the Christmas tree. And honestly, I'm only going to use like one of these a year probably, or like two at most. But it was just such a pretty and detailed sticker. I just couldn't resist getting so much of it um, and the digital version. So this is fall cooking. So it's like cooking a turkey in the oven there. And this is just like chopping up fall vegetables, a little pumpkin. So this is like fall. I only got two fall sheets because I think that was all that was available in the shop at the time that I wanted anyway. Um, this is yummy fall, so it's like PSLs or other fall drinks, and then a slice of pie, and then a bunch of pies down here. I love pie stickers so much. All right, now we get into flat leaves. This isn't actually the last section, but it's probably the biggest. So this is just like a getting ready or like packing with clothes flat lay. This is winter clothes version. This is reading with bunny slippers and a book and tea. This is planning. This is one version of the laptop flat lay. This is the other version of the laptop flat lay. This one has like more snacks and tea. Um, this is pies. You know, I love pies and pie stickers. This one is afternoon tea. So tea and like cakes and sweets and things. Very fun. There's one tradition I love. It's very British. It's afternoon tea. Um, this one is which one is this? I think this is just like generic fall cooking or fall dinner time. It's not like Thanksgiving specific, but it definitely looks like it. This one is sushi. This one was like one of my favorite ever stickers. It's so detailed. Oh my God, I'm in love. Yeah, because when you go out and get sushi, you got to get all of it. So this is perfect. And then this one is breakfast. So you got like pancakes and I'm actually not too sure of what everything else is except for like the toast and eggs. Like, is that a basket of bread? I don't know. What is this stuff? I think that's a tomato. I don't know what those things are, but it looks like breakfast, so I got orange juice too. Um, all right, so here's pizza. Like I said in my previous video, I'm in a phase where I'm loving pizza. It's usually either love it or hate it, but now I love it. So had to get 10 pizza flat leaves to represent that. I'm obsessed. Okay, this is just in your cooking, cooking up veggies, it looks like. There's no meat on this one, I just realized that. This is generic baking. So I got eggs in a mixing bowl in a rolling pin and dough and butter. And it looks like cream or something. Um, you know what, this one might be the fall cooking one. Apparently there's two, but um, yeah, and they both have like turkeys. So you get two options there, I guess. I think it was called something else, but I don't remember. Or the other one was called something else. Um, this one is meal prepping. So you're again, chopping up veggies, but there's like salmon there and all other kinds of little dishes and I just love that. I love how detailed it is. Like she's really good at that in her designs. All right, now we get into generic nanas. I think I only have like, oh no, there's not. We already passed that section. This is the food section, um, food not flat lay section. So this is a sushi sheet of eating sushi. Again, it's my favorite food, so how to get a whole sheet of it, very fun. I think that's onigiri. I think I made that once, if I'm remembering that name correctly. Um, then this is just an oven. Such a cute little doodle. I think this is like the only actual little doodle that I got like a full sheet of on its own. Or like a, a really tiny one anyway. Um, and then this is baking. So baking a cake, little muffins, or I guess unfrosted cupcakes, but they look like muffins. And then this is just generic making anything in a mixing bowl right there. Got a little cinema sheet with a bunch of movie tickets and popcorn and soda right there. I don't drink soda, but I mean, come on. It's really about the popcorn. Oh, this is so cute. This is like sleeping with a little kitty. I think it's a kitty. It's got round ears like a bear, but I think it's a kitty. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is me every time I nap and there's a cat around. Like, yeah, it'll be me and the cat. So that's so cute. Oh, this is one of my favorites. It's happy mail. You all know I love mail and and male stickers like especially like what what is it my third favorite type of sticker my third or fourth i don't remember what i said my third was in like the last video but like it was couple stickers cat stickers 
and male stickers are either third or fourth. Probably next to like sushi stickers, I don't know. Anyway, this is fun because it's like just holding a bunch of packages, holding a bunch of letters, and then this is my favorite because it's like eagerly looking outside for the mail, which is literally me because you can't see it, but my window is right that way and this is my desk. So I'm basically always staring out the window to see if I can see the mail truck and like constantly looking at USPS and form delivery to see when the mail is coming. <laughs> so that's literally me. I need a whole sheet of these. I'm not even kidding. And then this is like sticker happy mail. So again, so detailed, so fun, so cute. Um, and now we get to kind of like desk setups or like Nana sitting at a desk. So this is just... Oh, uh, this is actually, I think, designing. I thought it was just like computer work, but you can see she's got a little drawing pad and a little pen and her planner next to her, and that's like designing stickers, and that's literally like what I look like, except I'm using a pencil on just normal paper, but I mean, that could work for that too. So that's designing stickers. Um, this one is, I think this is organizing stickers, if I'm not mistaken, and I've I haven't seen, I don't think, any other shop with organizing stickers other than my own shop. Um, so I had to pick these up because, it's, I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do is like once I get a haul or I'm finished with a plan with me and I get to put away all my extra stickers where they go in my binders that I just organized. Yeah, that's my favorite thing. So, so glad to have those stickers. And this one is planning, of course. Um, this one is a tea lover sheet. This is like less applicable to me than the other tea sheets from her I got um, because there's so many like iced tea stickers and I don't drink iced tea at all. Like it just doesn't appeal to me, which is funny because I'm, I'm technically Southern. Um, and then there's boba and I haven't tried that either, but my boyfriend says there's a great boba place near him. So next time I go up to visit or like next year when I move in with him, I'll have to check that out and I can finally use all my boba stickers because I have a lot. Um, and then this one is what looks like just drinking green tea and having a little cake. So that's really fun. I like how she put the extra effort into like making a table and then making the, the glass on the tea see through so that you can see the line of the table. Like I thought that was a mistake, but now I realize it's like an actual like fun detail. All right, and then here's tea mugs. Obviously more applicable to me because it's just generic tea mugs. Um, I like how there's some like plain white options so it's not all super pinky. Um, and then this is tea time, which is cute little teacups with faces, and then a bunch of tea bags. So also very applicable to me. I guess this is just like the tea section. All right, and now we're done with that. And now we're getting into generic couples right here, and this is the last section. So this is like the couple drinking, which is so funny because like we don't get drunk together a ton, but when we do, it's always like a really grand old time. Um, but yeah, I, I just really wanted to get this because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> so I use that to mark when we when we drink a lot and like, I don't know, watch a show because that's what we usually do. <laughs> Makes everything better. All right, this is movie couples. I will probably pick up this sheet almost every time I see it in a shop, especially if it's custom. Like this one is, looks like, looks like us. I like their expressions. They look like vaguely worried about what they're watching. <laughs> Maybe I'll use this when we watch horror movies. Um, and this one is mealtime couple. Did I pick up two of these? Yeah, I picked up two of these because of the sandwich one. <laughs> we love sandwiches, we're obsessed. That's what we eat for lunch literally every single day. Um, and this one's just like cooking dinner. So I can use that for when we cook dinner together. And then this for when we make Sammy's for lunch. So this is the only sheet I got two of. And then this one is just generic couple cuddling. I thought it was so funny that this one was like the only one not in the same color scheme as all the other ones. Like she literally could have taken one of these and, and copied it and pasted it over here. But for some reason, this is one from a different color scheme. <laughs> I think it's hilarious, but that looks like my friend Alex. He's got brown hair, so I'm probably just gonna use that for me and Alex doing stuff. But the rest of us is just me and my boyfriend cuddling. And that's so cute. And these are definitely some of my favorite couple stickers, this particular sheet right here. They just look so cute and so happy and so in love. So, wait, that was so many stickers. I spent 20 minutes literally on this one shop alone. Yeah, I will definitely be picking up more from her every time she's got a new release. So, huge supporter of her shop. Definitely one of my favorite new shops. New doing to me shops. So let's go on to the next part of the haul. 
Okay, so for this next part of the haul, I'm going to be going over my Happy Daya order. Um, I think I've said this in a previous haul, but she's like one of my favorite shops. So I'm so happy that I finally got like a whole bunch of sheets at once from her. So this is my base order for her, just starting to build up my collection. Um, also, if you can't tell, well, you probably can because my hands are suddenly huge. I've zoomed in a bit so you can see the stickers better. I'm going to experiment more with that in my videos. So, um, so this was my Black Friday order from her. I took advantage of several deals that she had, including tons of freebies and a really cool shipping deal, which is where if you spend $10 for USPS shipping, um, you can get it really fast and... Um, you can get two extra sheets for free, so I just put in two that I was already going to buy. And the minimum still like qualified for a bunch of freebies, so it really worked out there. Um, so let's go over the freebies first. Came with, I think, four freebies. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five freebies. One of them is a repeat, though. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. So this is the foiled freebie uh it looks like it's in silver foil and there's like a happy new year thing on here and then there's just generic happy mail and then yay and then two be happies another yay and then two let's get this done so it's just kind of like positive stuff really get that foil there doing a big wiggle um and then here's um kind of just a generic sampler. I think this is the kind that like goes with every um, order. So I think she changed it up because I think the one I got last time didn't have all of these, but I do have like a whole page that I put all of my Happy Daya sampler stickers on. So I'll add this to those. I think this one's a repeat. So is that one. The payday is, pencil might be. And I think the little van here probably is too. So is meal plan. But I think the sushi and the day off, the camera, the little coffee thing, the water plants, and the printer is new. I really like the printer though, like, I need to look and see if she has full pages of those in her shop. I don't think she does, but, um, because that's like exactly, well not exactly, but it's pretty close to what my current laser printer looks like, so. Yeah, so that's the Baker sampler. Um, Oh wow, six samplers, I was wrong. I first thought it was four and then it was like five and now it's actually six. So yeah, here's the um, positivity sampler that comes with this one. I think the one I got in my last order was kind of like Christmas themed um, with more red. And this one is kind of two, except she's got a green little Santa hat. I think that's so funny. So I'm probably just gonna use this more for generic anytime. Cause yeah, green is also a Christmas color, but I don't know. I think it's less Christmassy, but I can I can save it for next year too or something. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of cute stickers on there. And now here's the um, kind of tiered freebies that come with it. So um, first tier freebie, you get this kind of house chores sheet here. So it's got trash day, clean. I guess that's like for clean the house, recycling. This one's laundry right here. Wash dishes and then clean and then a space to write what you're cleaning in. And I got two of these instead of one of them and then one of the second tier freebie, which was supposed to be like a work study sheet. But since I'm not currently working and I'm graduated from school, um, I could probably use this more than that one. So I'm not too upset about that. And then the third tier freebie is this one, which is kind of like a shopping one, so I definitely will be able to use the no spend sticker, because um, I've been spending a lot on stickers lately. This one is like car keys, two makeups right here, really nice shoes, they're kind of like loafers, kind of the shoes I would wear, and then two different colored bags here. So that's really fun. I don't go shopping a ton, but when I do, I'll use that. Okay, now we can get into my actual order. That was funny because I don't think I have like any other shopping stickers other than the ones in my shop and the ones that have come on other samplers. All right, so we have, these are all the sheets in this size and then I got two of the larger size. Um, I didn't actually know they'd be in this size, but 
it's a really good deal. It's the same price as these, and you think you get a lot more stickers. So I got the printing cut in the medium size. I think I also got a larger version down here. But yeah, I wanted the medium because it would be very easy to just stick in to any uh, spread in a small space. And I don't have to write, which is what I'm really excited about because it's already got print and cut in there. So you get four, one, two, three, four, five. You get 24 different stickers on this sheet. So that's a fantastic deal. It's like 24 weeks worth of stickers. And then this one is the English tea sheet. So it's so cute. And it looks like really wintry with the blue and white china. So um, I was thinking I would use this more in winter time. But yeah, it's just a teacup on a saucer with little little panda-shaped biscuits there. I say biscuits, I mean cookies. I'm like seriously Britishizing myself right now. I do, I do say a lot of British things. Um, and that is a sheet of English tea, so it makes sense. All right, this I believe I have organized by category again. <coughs> So let me just go through it. So the first sheet is cat litter, which is so cute, and a bunch of adorable cats. And it's funny because most um, cat sheets I get, there is not a Siamese option, but like very rarely there will be. Like I think Sweet Bean, Plan Sweet Bean Plans had a Siamese cat, and then somebody else did. I don't remember the shop, but like one other shop did. Um, but yeah, most I pick up, they will like have a calico, but they won't have a Siamese, and I think that's hilarious. But um. And cat's a cat, so I'll use this for doing litter, which I will almost certainly be doing, um, well, probably by the time you see this, I'll be doing it right now, because I will be at my parents' house, and that's where my cats are, so I'll be expected to help out with that, and then I got the sheet of ball pythons, which was actually my request sticker to her, and I'm so excited to see them, like, in their final form. They're so pretty. Um, I requested specifically a Mojave morph ball python because that's the one I'm going to get next year. And this is what they look like. And I got this small so I could fit as many on a sheet as I could. And I think they're still like a really good size for that. Like it's funny because like these are the medium stickers and these are the small and they're like not significantly smaller. Um, but I get a ton of them. So five, so, so there's 25 different snakes on here. That's so cute. So yeah, she did a really good job of them, and I love having them in the Happy Day style. So I'll use that to mark snake activities when I get my snake. Um, I'm really building up on these, because I think I got one from Sweet Bean Plans too. So if you know of any other snake stickers, uh, let me know so I can add to my collection, because I like having as much variety as I can. And I don't see too many people with snake stickers. Um, yeah, I like somehow give myself a paper cut right here on my finger that you could probably see but yeah it's like hurting randomly anyway moving on so this these are the two computer sheets I got this one is just generic winter computer I got the large so I can write in what I'm doing inside the computer screen and then this it also comes with four small ones so I could probably still write in something there really small or I could write something beneath it or next to it so I liked having those two options rather than the medium. So that's my winter computer sheet. And then here's the wizard computer sheet. I think this was a request too from somebody else, but I just had to pick it up. It's so cute. So same sort of deal. You can write in something here. And this um, I could use for probably two things I'm thinking. I could use it to mark when I am doing anything on the computer during a Harry Potter month, which I'm hoping to make a yearly thing. So I did one this year. I did five weekly spreads of Harry Potter month and one monthly. Um, and I'm hoping to do it next year. I'm already starting to stock up on Harry Potter kits again. So I could use this for that, or I could just use this for when I'm watching Harry Potter on my computer anytime, but I'm less likely to do that. I'm more likely to just use a movie marquee. But I like having options, so I'm sort of deal with that. Very cute. I love her computers. I'm hoping she comes out with more of them for like all the seasons and stuff. Um, and then here's the large printing cuts that I got, and as usual, it comes with some small ones next to it, so this will be really good to stick into um, any spread where there's not a ton of room left. So just for size comparison, here's the large, small, and then the medium right here. So very good variety. So it's kind of nice that I have all three sizes there, because that's a sticker that I use at least once or twice a week. Alright, um, 
Now let's get into the people stickers. Yeah, I think that's what's left here by category. So this one is a girl carrying a stack of books and it's obviously really heavy. This is me whenever I go to the library or like I'm taking a bunch of book donations somewhere, usually to the library. Um, or whenever I, you know, come back from the bookstore with tons of books. So this will definitely be useful for me. Um, I think there's another related sticker I should have had right next to it. Let me just grab that one. And this, this is the reading sticker. I think this is probably my favorite reading sticker ever is the Happy Day one. It's just so pretty. Like she's so pretty and her outfit is so pretty and she's sitting there and there's a little cat and tea and this is like reading goals. So I'm probably going to stock up on more of these probably in a smaller size. I think that's the smaller size right there. And I was worried I wouldn't be able to see the detail in the smaller size, but I think you totally can. So um, I'm probably going to stock up on more of these because I just love them. I need to get back into reading. I've been so into stickers lately, I like, haven't even been thinking about it, but I'm going to do it. It's on my to-do list. All right, so this is the packing orders kit. Not kit. Why did I say kit? Packing orders sticker sheet. So. Um, it's a girl and she's got a bunch of envelopes that she's holding. I guess you could technically also use it for Happy Mail if you get a bunch of orders that come in at once, like I have been getting for Black Friday. But um, I'm hoping to do this for packing orders when my shop opens in January next month. <laughs> and then this is for planning. I really like how detailed this is. You can like see all of her sticker sheets and her washi there. So that's so fun. And I like how it's like a desk scene, but it doesn't span the whole length of the box. So you're not pressured to like write something under it, you can write something next to it and it can still take up like the same amount of space and it's still super detailed. I love how her print quality is so good that she gets so much detail in such a small size and you don't lose any of the details. All right, same for this one, which is cooking. Um, she's got her little, I think that's a bear, little bear, bear friends next to her. And it looks like she's cooking something with noodles. So that's really cute, just generic cooking, I'm gonna use that for. And then here's the same thing, but for baking, she's baking muffins with her little bear chef friend. Very fun. I think it's also funny in case you haven't noticed. I don't know if you can see it in this light. I can see it right now, but like, it's very difficult. But um, instead of the black outlines, she uses red for accent. So it stands out for somebody with black hair. So like, I don't think you can see that there's lines in her hair right now, but they're there and they're red and you can see them in person. I wonder if I like shine a light on it, if it would be like easier to see. Like I know there's like natural light right now. I'm seeing a little bit of it on camera. Yeah, you can kind of see it like right there if you look really closely. But I thought that was so interesting. I've never seen another shop do that. But yeah, it really, it really helps to add texture to black hair. What I do for that and my stickers is I don't use true black. I think Andrea does the same thing. I just use like a really dark grayish and then I'll add actual black for the outlines. All right, so that's baking. This is another generic cooking sheet. She's just like chopping food right here. Um, could use this film for meal prep or uh, cooking. So I like having options there. <laughs> this one is so funny. This is the only sheet I've seen like this. Like there are other stickers for drinking. Like I just recently, I think earlier in this haul, Toffee Bananas had a sheet for drinking. Um, it was like a couple's drinking one though. <laughs> but like this one is like just actually drunk, <laughs> sitting on a couch having the time of her life. I think she's like drooling a little bit. She's got a wine bottle in her hand. Her shoes are off. That's so funny. <laughs> and there's like wine dripping on the floor. But yeah, so if I um, drink too much, which doesn't really happen, like I've never actually gotten drunk, but like me buzzed, there's like hardly a difference. Like I haven't gotten to the point of like a hangover, but I've gotten to the point where I can really feel it. So it's hilarious. So I'm gonna mark that with these. And I just, I love these stickers so much. I think I could get away with getting the smaller size next time though. These are kind of big. Um, okay, so let's put that over here. And then this one is tea. I guess this is like the, food and drink section. All right, so this one is pouring tea um, with her little panda friend right there. This is kind of a tall sticker. I did get the large because I was afraid of losing the detail. And I think you would probably lose like some of the detail there with the cake and the little pattern on the teapot if you made it smaller. 
but yeah again it's tall not wide so you can still write next to it so I can probably use that for like a tea party where I'm you know pouring tea for other people because I have other tea stickers I can use for when I'm just making a cup for myself all right and then this is just generic going to the movies um, this is a single movie sheet. I don't really go to the movies by myself ever. Um, if I'm going, it will generally be with friends or my parents or my boyfriend. Um, I don't have any parent stickers though, so I can probably use this for when I'm going with them. I probably wouldn't use this for just watching a movie by myself because I have plenty of movie stickers or movie marquees that I can use for that. Um, but there's that, and then this is a little cut, little watching TV sticker. I did get the large because I wanted to be able to write in the movie that we saw. And if it was in small, like the white space would be kind of off-putting and look like a waste of space. So I did get the large, which means I can only use it six times, but I can get more. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. It's a little cat couple. Um, so yeah, that will be for me and my boyfriend. I think I'm actually going to put this with my Fox and Cactus cat couple stickers because I do have a whole category in my organization for cat couples so this works it's so funny i think a lot of shops actually do that sort of thing cat couples all right and this is um these are the couple stickers here got a few of a few more of those um i got all the ones that i didn't get in my first order because i think my first order was mostly couple stickers but yeah this one is just like cuddling in bed which is so cute definitely what we do and there's a little heart with a face on it <laughs> Yeah, that's like our favorite thing is cuddling in bed. And then this is um, just generic, kind of like looking into each other's eyes. She's got a little bag, so I'm assuming they're like out on the town or about to go. So yeah, and they're dressed up really nice. So this would be perfect for like right before going out to a fancy dinner, um, which we do enjoy a lot. <laughs> and then I got the large, or hang on. This one says medium, but like this one also says medium, but this is clearly a large. Anyway, I got both sizes of this because I really liked the sticker. Okay, so those are all the other couple stickers I didn't get the first time. And now we're into, I think, generic activity stickers. Um, so this one is a little plane, obviously used for plane travel. I have a plane trip coming up. I don't know, I feel like if I, I feel like I have to like make a point of doing a spread using mostly Happy Day as stickers. Because otherwise, like, I have other plane stickers I could grab before this one, including my own. But, like, if I was doing a Happy Day spread, I would definitely grab this one. So I'm going to have to, like, make a point of it. I have so many character stickers now after Black Friday that I'm going to have to do, like, shop-specific spreads. All right, and this one is playing the piano, but it's, like, a concert one. But this is, like, so pretty. Like, look at her little bow in her hair, her little dress, the perfectly detailed piano. It's a shame I don't have like recitals anymore or even piano lessons, but I do play on occasion when I'm at my parents' house, which is right now. So I'm sure I'll use this to mark doing that. I don't think I have any other piano stickers at the moment, but there are a few others that I want from other shops. Okay, and then this one's hiking. I really wish I had this for um, a month ago when I went to Indianapolis to see my boyfriend because we did go hiking then and I would have used this but I'm sure we'll do it again because we really like hiking so this is my first hiking sticker I think the first one I've seen in a shop so I had to pick it up because I needed something to mark that and I think before I had to just use like I don't know foot, a footprints icon or something done I wanted to have a hiking specific one and then this last one is a washing hair one. Now, I've looked at a lot of washing hair stickers and none of them like super duper stood out to me. But um, I don't know, I thought this one was like really cute. And I decided to just go with it because I needed one, at least one washing hair sticker. So um, I don't do it all the time. So I need to mark when I do that. And this one is really cute. She's got little bubbles in her hair and a little rubber ducky there. And I got this small so there's five, there's 25 stickers in here. So that should last me quite some time. Maybe I'll find some others to build up my collection there. But yeah, so that is my Happy Day order, my really big one. Um, so I will definitely be eagerly awaiting more releases from her and especially more sticker requests i'm not sure that i would request anything right now like i can't think of anything that i would 
but um maybe by the next time she opens them up um I will have thought of something I'm gonna have to like keep notes of like types of stickers I want um I've actually been looking for like a FaceTime sticker recently but I think she already has those in her shop I'm not sure I would have gotten the um I think the Toffee Bananas FaceTime stickers because I think those are like the best ones I've seen but I don't think she had them in her shop when I made my last order and right now she's only offering digitals up until Christmas which may or may not have already happened based on when you're seeing this um, and then I guess she'll reopen next year so I'm definitely gonna jump on that when she um, reopens and see if I can and see if she's like offering them again I really hope so but we'll see all right on to the next part Hi everyone, so today for the final part of my second Black Friday haul, um, I have two shops remaining. The first one is Whimsical Cat Studio, and as you can see, it's quite a hefty order. My first, uh, actually no, it's my second order from her shop. I think the first time I got like maybe four sheets or something like really low, like either four or eight, like less than ten. So this was like my first base order from her shop. So I went and got every single sheet currently in her shop that I wanted. Um, and then this one is Fox and Cactus. It is also my second order and first base order from her shop. So first let's go over Whimsical Cat Studio. Um, as usual, it comes with this adorable little booklet that, um, has, you know, thanks, and she always features somebody's haul from their Instagram, um, the new stickers coming soon, these have already come up in her shop, so they are currently there, if her shop's not closed when you're seeing this. Um, there was a freebie sheet on here which had some of the new stickers on it, which I thought was really cute, and this wasn't in the previous booklet that I got, and then more, um, more promo for her shop on there so another cute little booklet I do save those and then more cute little um, wrapping here she's the only shop that I've seen that does this kind of fold over thing so that's really cute too and then so many freebies I was literally not expecting this many at all I mean I did place a huge order but like I wasn't expecting I think five freebies so this one is uh, a sticker sheet of some of her new releases so she's got the little Pokemon Go girl, um, looks like Zumba, I think, Super Mom, a little kitty drinking coffee, uh, cuddling up with, it looks like a tablet or a phone, and then this is the Mom Boss one, so those are all in her shop now. I don't know how many of these I'm, like, actually going to be able to use, especially since I don't Pokemon Go, but, I mean, my boyfriend does, so, and I sometimes go out walking with him while he does that, so I can use that for that. Um, and then this was the... The one that was in the booklet the freebie so some of her new releases on here too like this punching of the computer one i think is so funny and i do want to get a full sheet of those at some point um and then this is one of the it's a meme um it's like that little kid that's like fist pumping and he's saying you can do it but it's like girl version it's so funny and then this one is um just a girl with all these hearts and her shirt says love and she's totally in love with whatever um and this little envelope and then this is a student um this is a girl with really long hair and cat ears and a cute little dress i'm not sure what that's supposed to be but she's cute and then this is so funny i honestly forget what this sheet is called i know all the other ones but it's like it's just one of those mom life things where like so it's a couple laying in bed and then <laughs> little babies in there too and he's like kicking mom in the face that's so funny so i'm gonna save that for when i have kids of course and then we have a little Harry Potter freebie here. Um, I actually got the full Harry Potter sheet, so I'm sure a lot of these are doubles on here, but I'm super excited to have them because I do love my Harry Potter stickers. So I'll be using this when I watch the movies or I'll save it for Harry Potter month next year, next September it will be. Um, and then this one is a super busy freebie of 12 different um, individual stickers from other sheets so it's quite an assortment um, I don't think a ton of these are stickers I actually have bought sheets of so it's kind of fun to get like to get new ones or new to me ones 
So I'm not going to go through every single one. You can see what's on there. And you can see these in her shop. Um, and then here's like that. I want to say this is a freebie because it looks like way too big to be a freebie. But I'm pretty sure I didn't order it. But it's a um, happy birthday little sheet here. So you got cupcakes and balloons and a cake and banners. And this really cute little line of like printed out photos, which is so fun. And then the little or a big girl <laughs> with her cake there and she's probably about to blow out candles and champagne and a present so that's so fun so I'll use this to mark my birthday or somebody else's I have so many birthday stickers at this point I'm gonna have to start using these to mark other people's birthdays so I will do that um, okay so let's get into the big sheets now so I did kind of organize these by type as usual so this first one is um, kind of just a generic heart eyes sheet. And you've got the girl with heart eyes and the little cat with heart eyes, which I think is so funny. Um, and then you've got a little speech bubble that says love you. And this is um, the first sheet I have bought uh, with the intention to use it exclusively for writing notes to my boyfriend. Notes or letters. Um, since we currently live long distance, I, we do write letters back and forth sometimes. And when I go to his house, I like to leave him cute notes. So obviously this sheet would be perfect for that. So I don't think I will put these in my planner at all, but if I want to, there's a lot of stickers on the sheet, so I probably can spare a few for that. Now, this is just the generic character sticker section. So this one is with a pencil and that's used to mark drawing. I thought I also got the pen, but I don't, I don't see it in here, so it's quite possible I didn't, so maybe I'll get that next time. But I do have the pencil because I do draw all of my character stickers by hand with pencil, and then I scan it into Photoshop and color it, etc., etc. Um, this one is tea break, so it's just a generic tea time kind of sheet. I like to get this sheet from every shop because I do drink a lot of tea. And I like having variety with which to mark that in my planner. So, And I especially love um, her character stickers with a little curly bun right here because that's exactly what I look like. So I think her um, character stickers with my skin tone looks the most like me out of any other shop's custom characters. Um, and then this one is kind of like accounting and budgeting. So I got that to mark that, obviously. This one is sick day. Looks like she's got a little mug of, looks like green tea there. Thankfully I don't get sick often, but I had to get that. And this one is so funny. It's like a rice bowl sheet. So, you know, it could be like for a poke bowl or just rice and fish or anything, just any kind of like Asian rice bowl type thing. So this is uh, currently my dinner pretty much every night, rice and some kind of meat and vegetables. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this sheet. And I just love her expression. She's like, oh my god, I'm rice bowl. It's so big. <laughs> so that's totally me. So that's perfect for that. This one is, I believe, uh, packing orders, packing happy mail. So you've got a little envelope there, and then there's a box version there. Definitely useful for all the happy mail I send out or orders. And this one is fun. This is a cooking sheet. This is probably one of my favorite cooking sheets. It just looks so much like like cartoony like an anime or like um it reminds me of like you know that those old uh video games for like handheld consoles like cooking mama or that that whole series or something like that this reminds me of like something from that it's so funny but yeah i thought these were so adorable so these are for cooking um this one is just a computer and i like how there's like three different ways that she's facing and also three different expressions so you can use it whether you're you know neutral on the computer like confused about something or just like annoyed and there's like two different versions of annoyed too and it's so funny so there's that girl at the computer this one is crafting or scrapbooking or something like that and again i don't see too many of these in shops so i like to grab them when i see them because I don't do tons of crafting but I do a bit this one is cleaning I don't do a ton of cleaning myself in all the places I've lived except uh, that brief stint where I had an apartment at school uh, usually other people in the house take care of the cleaning I just like it for me it never gets to the point where it 
it where I feel the need to clean. It never gets that bad. But, um, you know, on the occasions when I do clean, I'll use these stickers. Um, this is a cute little sleeping or nap time one. I really love this. They're little cat ears. It's so funny because, like, not all of the girls have cat ears, but this one does. So it's like taking a cat nap. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Uh, this is grocery shopping. Again, super cute. I love her expressions. Like, she's, like, thinking, what's on the list? What's next? And here she's just, like, happily going to the store. And then you get the little grocery shop here and then a little bag of groceries. So there's many different ways to market. Super fun. This one is a girl and kitty in the car. So this can be used for road trips or just driving somewhere. So I've seen a lot of types, these type of stickers in other shops, but um, I think this one was the cutest I've seen. So it's the one I picked up to mark such occasions. And the little license plate says meow, it's so adorable. Okay, um, next is just kind of a relaxing, lounging, kind of cheat day sheet. So here she's eating pizza and she's got soda and she's sitting on the couch and here she's napping on the couch with her cat. So I don't have too many relaxing days, but when I do, now I have stickers to mark them. I thought they were really cute. And this one is Netflix binging. I think this was one that I wasn't allowed or wasn't able to customize like the hair color on because she's blonde, but you know, it works. It's watching Netflix with her kitty cat. And right now I'm currently going through all the shows that I want to watch that are on Netflix just in case they like suddenly leave Netflix. So I just finished The Office and I after that I finished season five of Budget Horseman and Elmon Stranger Things season two. These are all on Netflix, so I can use this to mark those. And then finally I got some zoo stickers because I go to the zoo a lot. Well not like a lot, but like if I'm going to a city like for vacation or something. Um, or just like a day trip, I will pretty much always stop at the zoo. So I've had to mark it in other ways in my planner in the past, but I wanted zoo specific stickers because I love going to the zoo. So now I finally have them. And same thing with the museum. So now I have these, very useful. And now we have kind of sticker themed stickers. Um, well, this one is for filming. This one I believe is filming um, filming a haul because if you can see on her desk she's like opening happy mail she's got a little envelope there and little washi and stacks of sticker sheets so there's filming editing and then uploading and then more of those down here and then this one is filming plan with me specific because it has the little plan with me banner here and she's got her planner on her desk so this is the plan with me filming this one is just generic photo taking uh, photos are another another uh, type of sticker that I don't see too many that I actually like. So this one I think I do enjoy for that. So I can mark like Instagram photos with this because I do mark those at least twice a week. And this one is organizing stickers. Now this is the second sticker sheet, I th second or third, that I've seen um, for organizing stickers. The first one was Toffee Bananas. And this is Whimsical Cat one, and they're both kind of big stickers, but if I want smaller ones, I have my own in my own shop for that. But um, yeah, I thought these were really cute. This is, it's so funny though, cause she like looks so different from the other characters. Cause she's like actually a cat girl. Like she's all white and has little white ears. I, th I don't even know what like that's supposed to be. If she's supposed to be like a cat or a girl or a cat girl or whatever the hell, I don't know. It's so funny. But yeah, I am going to use that for organizing my stickers, which is like one of my favorite things to do. And I, I think like some other people actually just don't like that after, you know, after you do a haul or a plan with me putting all your stickers away. That's like my favorite part. So it's funny to me that other people don't like that. Um, and, this, and now we get into the Happy Mail sticker section, which as usual is pretty big because I get a lot of Happy Mail and I love getting Happy Mail. So this one is just packages. I love where she's like coming out of the box like a cat. <laughs> and then this is Harry Potter, happy mail sort of thing. This one is sending off happy mail. And then this one is receiving a letter of happy mail. All right, and now we're into the um, kind of no section random sticker sheet. So this one is a Harry Potter sheet, like I said. So let me grab the um, 
the sampler. Yeah, it's got all the same stickers on the sampler as on the sheets, um, except the sampler only comes with Hermione and Dobby, but here we get all the other ones. And these are kind of big stickers, so I'm not sure I'll be able to fit them into my spreads easily, but I like having the option. So there's that, and then this is the only other couple sticker that I hadn't gotten before. I think with my first order with her, I got like maybe two or three, at least three, because her couple stickers are like one of my top two favorite couple stickers ever. The other one is Toffee Bananas, but yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed with how perfect these look. They look just like me and my boyfriend, so had to fill out my collection on that. So that's that. And then this is the only Christmas sheet I got from her. I don't even know if she offered any other Christmas sheets, but like this is kind of just a generic Christmas sampler. Really cute, had to pick it up. So that's that. And then, so now we're into holiday section. The last sheet I got was a New Year's sheet with the countdown on it. And I'm so glad this arrived in time for me to use it for the new year. So I will be using this countdown. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these stickers here because I do have quite a collection of 2019 specific stickers um, that I'm going to have to fit, you know, either on the day when I do my weekly planning or just on the January monthly spread. So I'm sure I'll be able to fit them all in somehow. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be using a lot of these this year. Okay, so that is my enormous whimsical cat studio order she's also one of my top favorite shops so you'll definitely be seeing more of her stickers in my future hauls but maybe not as many as this all at once because like i said this was my base order so that is that and now let's get into fox and cactus so she sent me two journaling cards with this order, which is really fun. So this one, all I need is a good book. I've seen a lot over Instagram, but this is the one that comes with her, um, her just kind of promo stuff on the back. So there's that one. And then there's this extra one, which I think is the Black Friday journaling card sort of thing. So it's got like a shopping theme. It says, treat yourself. Um, it's got a little kitty holding a bunch of shopping bags. So that's fun. Very pink. And then let's get into the actual order. I got two freebies with this one. One is the November freebie. Um, so it has, you know, kind of a bunch of holiday themed stickers. So it's one of our girls with green hair listening to music and wearing a holiday sweater. So it's probably like listening to Christmas music. This is a little bee, be kind, says the sign. And the bee's got a bunch of red and green little gloves on and a cute little hat. And then here's Christmas coffee cup like from Starbucks and then one of her little birds I forget what type of bird is it a cockatiel maybe wearing a little patterned scarf so that's November freebie and then this I think is the Black Friday freebie so I actually think I got this in my previous order from her so it might not have been the Black Friday freebie because I ordered that like a few months ago I don't know, I'll have to check to see if I have it, but I think I might. Anyway, if I do, I think it's really cute, and I love the Dobby sock, like, more than anything in the whole world, and I'm so glad she made a full sheet of those. So, if they're still available next time I make an order, I'm going to pick up a full sheet, because they're so cute. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I love them. So those are the freebies. And then another hefty order from her shop. Let me just try to pick these up. It's hard to with these nails. I did finally put on some fake nails again. Um, so these are also organized by category. So first we have a her fox character, and this is the cooking sheet. So we've got cooking something in a pan, and then looks like what looks like a bowl of soup in a pot, or I guess a pot of soup. And then over here, just topping up, I think vegetables. This is the only uh, sheet with her fox character that I have gotten. I think it was the only one that I thought was like super cute enough. But she does have a lot of fox family stickers that I will definitely be trying to get my hands on when I do have a family. I should like stock up on those now though, because like I'm so worried that every sticker I say I want to get like 10 years in the future is not going to be available. So 
I might just get those in my next order. And now we get into the cat stickers. Um, I did get her cat couples in my first order from her. I got, I think, two sheets that were kind of like samplers, and she recently came out with full sheets of specific stickers from that sampler, and I had to pick up the ones that I knew I was going to use the most. So I got two full sheets of the, um, the fancy dinner ones, because these are probably my favorite like fancy dinner date stickers like ever. And it's so funny that they're cats. Me and my boyfriend both love cats, so this was perfect for that. I mean, love having fancy dinners out, so that works for that. And this one is um, Cat Couples Eating. So this one looks like Asian food with little dumplings. This one is sushi, and <laughs> I love how the cats were like so excited about seeing sushi because you know cats raw fish. Yeah, that's like exactly my, me and my boyfriend. Um, and then this is just eating burgers. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything. So whenever we go out to eat, these will be really cute to mark that. And then this is just a generic. Um, generic cat couple just being all cute and loving and then this is the video game sheet um we don't game together too much but i s foresee that we will in the future so i got these just in case and if not i can use this for when me and my friends get together and play video games all right so that's my animal stickers and now i'm getting into the character stickers so i think the girl i get is Tulip, if I'm not mistaken. I get so confused with what the names are between shops, but it's the girl that looks like this. So this is the computer sheet. Again, there's like two different styles of happy looking at the computer, and then there's like super frazzled. So definitely get some variety there. This is uh, computer gaming. Right now, the only computer game I play is Minecraft, but believe me, I do go through all the emotions when I play, so this will be useful. Um, this is the shopping sheet. So it's so funny. This is set, shut up and take my money. Here she's like drowning in her shopping bags. <laughs> and this is like, I need it. Oh, this one is my favorite though. It's like, oops, I just spent like all my money. This was me on Black Friday. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, so that's going to be great to mark uh, way too much spending. This one is sick day. I d again, I don't get sick a lot, but these were too cute to not get. So that sick day. This is travel. I don't actually have a lot of travel, travel stickers at all. I have like maybe one from another shop or like two. I don't know. So I really wanted to, uh, to get these to add to that very small collection of travel stickers. So this is really great. I love like the attitudes and emotions that she puts into her stickers. Like, like this girl just desperately trying to close her suitcase with all of her clothes in it. That's like me every time I pack, <laughs> trying to fit way too much in. So yeah, a lot of really fun options there on the travel sheet. And this is winter planning. So it's just a girl with her planner doing a cute little kind of Instagram pose um, with a with like a winter hat and scarf on. Okay, so that's that. And now we get into the happy mail section, which is, again, a rather large. So this is the cat happy meal one. And here's a cat holding a little fox and cactus envelope with a little logo, like so miniature, that's so cute. And then the cat in the box, yeah, that makes sense. So I could use that for like, I don't know, just me getting happy mail or like when I receive happy mail and my cats immediately go to the box so that's so so fun and then here's like just you know swimming or laying on a pile of sticker envelopes so yep that about sums it up here we have so many little happy meal envelopes in case i just want to mark it really small and simply let me see how many you get four three four five six seven twenty eight stickers on here and all shades of the rainbow very nice and then here's the tulip happy meal sheet so just holding a bunch of letters with hard eyes, holding a bunch of packages and some letters, and then just like throwing them up in the air. And that like totally reminds me of Harry Potter. It's so funny. Um, and then here is just generic um, packages and boxes and envelopes and letters. So very simple, very useful. And then here is Harry Potter Happy Meal. So this is the Hedwig sheet. Too adorable to not get, I love it. 
And now we get into the non-character sticker, just kind of items sheet. So this one is a printer, which looks like it's printing stickers. Um, this one says stickers are here and then ordered more stickers. I love stickers about stickers, it's so meta. And this one is her planners sheet. I think I got the neutral version, which like isn't as colorful, but still kind of colorful. There's still a bunch of different um, patterns on the fronts of the planners. So you get lots of options there. So many again, uh, six, three, four, six, 36 different planners on here. So that's a really a great deal. And they're like a good size too. And this is the cat's sheet. I love this so much. Currently the only, well actually not the only cat I would want to mark, but like my boyfriend's cat who will soon be my cat is a Siamese and there's only three of those on here. So I could do with like a whole sheet of just Siamese stickers, but honestly I'm just going to use any cat to mark my cats. Um, my parents' cats, one of them is like this black and white one right here. He's like a tuxedo cat. And then the other one is a brown tabby. So. There's only a gray and orange tabby on here, but um, yeah, I can just use any. And I have other uh, cat stickers that look like them, including ones from my own shop, but these were just so cute. So had to get a whole sheet of cat stickers. This one is cross stitching. I think hers is my only, the only shop I've seen that has cross stitching stickers. You have knitting and even sometimes crocheting in other shops, but never cross stitching. And I do love to cross stitch. I did it a lot earlier this year. I started it earlier this year actually and I haven't done it in a while but I really want to get back into it like I have the stuff with me right in my desk so I want to get back into it so these will be perfect to mark that I just love how they're rainbow and I don't know I might need to get more because I don't know if she's if these are going to leave her shop soon I can't imagine they're terribly popular because I don't think too many people do cross stitching but um, this already does come with a lot of stickers on the sheet. So that's five, so 35 different stickers here. So it's really, really a great thing that she offers those. And then this is the kind of tea, latte, hot drink sheet, um, which I am gonna be using probably just for tea. Gotta have options there with the amount that I drink. And this is the laptop sheet. Now, this is another one of those stickers that a lot of sh shops offer, but I rarely see ones that I, I really want to get because I have some um, printable laptop stickers that I can use for pretty much like all occasions, but um, it's rare that I will see like a, a sheet of just, um, you know, front facing laptop icons like this that I that I like. So these I really love. I just, the design is perfect. It's so simple. The colors are excellent. So I just had to get a full sheet of those and it's pretty neutral so it can go with a lot of different spreads. And five, three, four, five, six, seven. so you get 35 stickers of these two. So that's great. And then the last one is the laundry line sheet. I think this is my first sheet of just laundry lines. I think I got some in a you know laundry kind of sampler from I think the Coffee Monsters Co. I don't think it was once more love. I think it was TCMC. So I think yeah, but this is my first sheet of just the lines, and I think they're really fun. And I've seen these in a lot of shops, but again, I don't want to pick up every single one. But I did want this one. It's really cute. So that is my enormous order from Fox and Cactus, and that kind of finishes up my second Black Friday haul. Now I do have stuff coming in or that has already come in for my next haul so you'll be seeing one pretty soon I guess. It might not be enormous but there will be one in the future because I don't post hauls too often because I don't order like every single week but um, there will be more to look forward to soon so Thanks so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video. Ciao.